A bunch of spaceships are battling one another in space. One ship is getting heavily attacked and they are being destroyed. Their captain orders them to boom out of there, but they're locked. Meanwhile on Apocalypse, Darkseid gets word of their destruction. They contact Steppenwolf, but he's been captured by Orion. Darkseid's invading fleet gets destroyed and sent back in pieces, destroying his home planet. He crawls out from under the rubble and finds the ruins of his home. He gets a final warning not to break his planet's treaty, or he will be destroyed. Back on Earth, Hawkgirl is watching a bunch of hawks fly around. She is mesmerized by what is happening, and Martian Manhunter can sense that she misses her home very much. She tells him to wait and that they can talk about it. Meanwhile, people are being slaved away restoring the glory of Darkseid. He was searching for the solution to the anti-life equation, and he almost got it, but he lost. Desaad questions his actions, but he pays for it with his life. Suddenly a spaceship arrives from the sky, putting fear into everyone except for Darkseid. Back at Hawkgirl, she tells the Martian how she was shot across space and time and has no idea how to get home. Martian Manhunter tells her that the entire Justice League is made of orphans with no home. Suddenly the alarms sound and everyone is on full alert. Batman has never seen anything like this, but Superman says that it's a boom tube. Suddenly, Darkseid walks out of a portal, and immediately, Superman starts dropping these hands. The entire League has to hold him back from killing Darkseid, but he comes in peace. He asks for their help and says that my enemy is your enemy, Brainiac. Superman doesn't believe him, but he shows the evidence. Superman doesn't care what happens to Darkseid or his planet, but Earth will be next. Later on, everyone is arguing with Superman about his decision. Batman doesn't care about his feelings and tells him to man up. He says that they have to take action because Brainiac is going to destroy countless civilizations. Superman agrees to work with them as long as Batman does something for him. Back in Apocalypse, an army pulls up to face Brainiac, but his technology is too advanced. Nothing gets past, and he decides to fire back, destroying their tanks one by one until they have nothing left. Darkseid watches from a distance, and the Justice League agrees to come to their aid. They pull through, but Brainiac is assembling some sort of device. Superman is still suspicious of this whole thing, and they go down to check out the battle. Meanwhile, Batman and Wonder Woman go through a portal to another place. They go to New Genesis, and it appears that Orion is Darkseid's son. He had traded him off as part of the peace treaty with New Genesis, but now it's over. Batman is here to find Orion, but suddenly the ground splits apart and a giant monster comes out of it. They start to run, and the monster swallows Batman whole. He is pressed against its tongue and mouth, but he blows his way out, all squirted on. Wonder Woman stuffs it and ties it up, but it isn't into that. Finally, someone puts it down and guides Batman and Wonder Woman to safety. They get to a remote location, and they ask about Orion, but the man says that Orion is a god to them, and they all live far above them. I'm gonna need a longer grapple. Back at Apocalypse, the battle is still raging on, but Superman flies over and gets past the barrier, before he is thrown back out where he came from. Darkseid calls him an idiot, and reveals that he has a plan. Wonder Woman flies with Batman to the City of the Gods. Suddenly someone flies over and calls them bugs before dipping. Wonder Woman goes after him and tries to catch him as they fly around the City of Gods. Suddenly, Batman decides to dip and catches him with his cape. Then Wonder Woman catches him on the floor, but Orion arrives. Back at the battle, Brainiac asks Superman what he's doing there and fires at him. Superman pushes through, trying to get past the force field. Darkseid uses this opportunity to fire through, hitting Brainiac, and Superman follows. The defenses fall, and then the army launches a full assault on Brainiac's ship. Superman delivers these hands, and Brainiac is blasted, but he manages to escape. Superman tries to fly after them, but he's hit with a bomb, causing him and Hawkgirl to crash. They get up, and Darkseid urges them to go after Brainiac. They get on a ride and follow, but Superman is sure that Darkseid is up to something. They fly through a bunch of asteroids. They catch up with Brainiac's ship, but suddenly it's gone. They find craters below, and then they get hit, and Brainiac sucks them as they enter his hole. They'll find out what this is soon enough. They enter the tube and drop below to find a whole city. They land and exit the ship, and a pod comes to take them. They enter deeper below and arrive at a strange hall. Suddenly, Brainiac comes out to meet them. He offers Superman to join him, offering his planet's entire history and culture to him, but Superman rejects him. Brainiac saw it coming and opens fire, then they attack back and destroy the cannons. Brainiac attacks them himself before Hawkgirl delivers the law on him herself, destroying him, but it's not over, 
it was a droid and more of them come in to fight. Back on the team, the High Father is tending to his children and giving them a proper lecture. With his statue of Moses, he shows his power. Orion arrives with the League and they inform High Father of what is going on. They follow him away and Orion suggests they go with an army and attack Darkseid. High Father reminds him that they have a treaty and they won't attack. He recalls the endless bloodshed before the pact and orders Orion to wait for his decision, but Orion isn't happy. Meanwhile, Superman and the team are still fighting Brainiac's droids, taking them out one by one. Suddenly, Darkseid arrives and attacks them. Superman is jumped by everyone as it appears Darkseid and Brainiac are working together. Darkseid promised to deliver Superman into his hands. Back with the rest of the team, Orion says that normal people are bugs. He intends to go fight, even though he was told to wait. Batman regrets putting Superman in charge and chases after him. Meanwhile, Brainiac promises to spare Darkseid's planet after giving him Superman. Brainiac explains that he collects data from all around the universe. He feeds his brain information to feed his collection. He has reached the limits of his programmed functions. In order to evolve, he needs to extract living DNA from the last Kryptonian, and now he becomes a true life form. While he does this, Darkseid installs a virus, overriding his control circuits and obeying Darkseid's commands. As that is happening, Hawkgirl drags Martian Manhunter and wakes him up. The Martian can't locate him, but they gear up and go after him. Superman is being tortured by Darkseid, who is hoping to steal Brainiac's power. He is the solution to the anti-life equation. Orion and the team get to where they are as the mother box senses Darkseid here. Darkseid explains to Superman that the universe is flawed and he wants to rebuild it from scratch, created in his image. Back home, High Father senses things are going down and his planet starts to get destroyed. It is Darkseid's doing. He says that they must evacuate the city. Meanwhile, Darkseid is still torturing Superman and Brainiac estimates that the device will reach critical failure but that's what Darkseid wants. The team arrives just in time to attack Darkseid, but they can't get to Superman. Darkseid orders Brainiac to stop them and the Legion of Droids attack. Hawkgirl deals with them, but she is shot from behind. Martian Manhunter is finally useful for once and handles his business. Then Orion and the rest of the team arrive just in time. They even the odds and destroy the droids. Batman grabs Hawkgirl and goes to the control panel. Back at New Genesis, they are getting destroyed. Orion and Darkseid go at it while Batman destroys the control panel. It finally stops torturing Superman and shoots him out. There is a critical system failure and things start to fall apart. The League escapes, but Superman waits behind. Orion is getting his ass kicked by Darkseid who takes no mercy on his son. He then finds Superman waiting for him and shoots the mother box off. Darkseid has to go through Superman. Darkseid has beaten Superman many times, but this time, Superman isn't going to hold back. Darkseid is speared by Superman and manhandled until he gets angry and fires his Omega Beam. Darkseid then beats Superman and appears to be victorious. The rest of the Justice League remembers Superman and Batman goes back for him. Meanwhile, Superman is getting slapped around and curb stomped, but Superman lasers his way out. He uppercuts him out of there like a prime Mike Tyson and finally beats him. Batman arrives and tries to stop him, but Superman yeets him away, shouting at him to get out. Batman then grabs him and activates the portal, sending them out of there along with Orion. The planet then explodes, and Superman is watching from a distance. He's mad at Batman for getting him out of there. Orion is in pretty bad shape, but he's alive. There are no signs of survivors, but suddenly, the kids arrive. It's a miracle. All the gods come back and it appears that the normal man saved the kids. Highfather apologizes for treating normal people like bugs, and Hawkgirl hopes to one day find her place in life as well. These were the first two episodes of the second season of the Justice League. They introduced Darkseid and alluded that he is going to be one of the biggest threats the DC Universe has ever seen. The Flash was also missing alongside Green Lantern. You would think in a threat level like that, these two would be present. Well, this brings us to the end of today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this one. Your support helps us grow. And tell me what you think about this story. What did you think about Darkseid's adaptation? Should Superman have stopped holding back and just went ballistic on him to make sure he's dead? Let me know in the comments below. I read all of them. And if you're watching till now, thank you. I'll see you in another video soon.